Welcome, this is Zahn with Repo Products. This is Revit Tips and Tricks, tip number 19 and number 20. Tip number 19 is the ability for you to demolish parts of a wall within phasing. And tip number 20 is how to create white text on a black background for presentation purposes. If I head over to this 3D view, you can see I have a couple walls here and this one has already been broken up and this particular brick layer of this wall has been demolished and it shows it in blue. How do we get the objects to be displayed in this manner? If I have the two walls here and they are not set up as parts and I go through the process of using the demolish tool, it demolishes the whole wall and it makes it blue. Normal behavior. If I select the objects and I turn them into parts, then they become individual layer components of the parts. If I use the demolish tool and select the entity, I cannot select it. However, if I select the entities first and go to its instance properties and change the phasing to display phase created by original, as checked and phase demolished by original as unchecked, then as I use the demolish command, I can demolish those layers of brick to be demolished properly. And the reason people would want to have that capability is just to, dis to show what objects and what layers of that wall are being demolished. The next tip is white text on a black background. There may be situations where you have a hatching or you're trying to present something uh, that has a black background. How do you create the uh, white text like this that you can see here in the black background? If we take a look at the standard um, uh, style quarter inch arrow that you get and you go to its type properties, you'll see the color is black. If you go in here and switch it to white, it'll still be black. However, if you take the text and change its color to 254 as the blue or any one of the red, blue, or green values, in other words, slightly not white, then what ends up happening is it'll read as white text over a black background. And those are the Revit tips for number 19 and number 20.